Globalization has made the world a smaller place. Ripley's tryst with globalization took it to India. Let's first see where in the world that is. Here is Milwaukee, separated by 16 time zones. A day-long plane trip with a couple of layovers is India. India, a land blessed with rich historical, linguistic, geographical, religious and cultural diversity. She is home to one in every six people of the world. Nothing can prepare you for the first encounter. A vibrant democracy, land of contradictions, a delirious kaleidoscope. It is an experience like no other. For Whipley to work in India meant that both sides had to relearn what holy cow really meant. Pune. This is where it all started back in November 2004, seeded by Steve Kronznobel. Pune or Pune traditionally been a city rich in culture, education and industry. It is home to the automobile and manufacturing industry, research institutes and yes, to 4 million people. It has also emerged as an IT hub, employing over 200,000 people. We would like to believe 60 of the smartest are all at Spider Logic, Pune. However, the nerve center of India's IT revolution has undoubtedly always been Bangalore, also called the Silicon Valley of India. They say if you throw a stone in a crowd in Bangalore, it will not only land on a software engineer's head, but also hit another techie on the ricochet. It was only a matter of time before Spider Logic India spread to Bangalore. Once known as the Garden City of India, Business Week has placed Bangalore among the global hotspots of the 21st century. Traditionally, Bangalore was a research and education hub, hosting the country's premier space, aeronautical and defense organizations. In addition, today the city of 8.5 million plays host to nearly 2,000 IT companies, including more than 150 multinational giants. However, the 150 or so at Spider Logic Bangalore make us a truly elite team. We are Wifley's presence in India. Most of us are focused on developing great software like Custom, which is built from scratch, Dynamics AX, CRM, etc. Over time, we have evolved and uh, we are adding value at the highest level with respect to client service and delivery. That aspiration will remain the same for our upcoming practices in the near term as well. In addition to developing great software, we do many more things here in India. As part of IT outsourcing team, we take responsibility to manage our clients' entire technology environment so that they don't have to worry about it and they can focus on their core business. Dependable accounting information is vital to keep your business running smoothly. As part of our financial accounting outsourcing service, we try to take the burden of accounting off our client's shoulders. On one end of the spectrum, this includes routine bookkeeping activities such as paying bills, journal entries, reconciliation of credit card statement, and on the other end of the spectrum, it involves preparing financial statements and advising them on expenses. Working with business advisory services team in the US, a team of about 20 people in Bangalore has enriched their knowledge so that they can advise our clients uh, sitting in Bangalore. And uh, all of our FAO services is uh, enabled using a homegrown software which we call as an FAO portal and FAO standing for financial accounting outsourcing. The technology and the people combine quite effectively to make our goal of providing low touch, high visibility service to our client quite possible. It's not only what we do that defines us, it's how we go about doing it. We're trying not just to develop software, we're trying to solve a business problem. And as a group of people working together, we're not trying to give them a workplace with infrastructure and resources, it's to provide an engaging and exciting place for people to work. Fun at work and serious about delivery are not two mutually exclusive things. You can be serious 
and not wear a suit. And everything that we do from there on is trying to achieve these two fundamental objectives. These central goals transcend into everything else that we do in the company. To the way we behave, the way we recruit, the way we interact with our customers, the way we collaborate, our process, our environment and everything. And what all this results in is an empowered technology team that can really understand and speak the language of the customer. I'm working uh, on a project for a customer that specializes in last mile delivery services, what they call white glove delivery. And they handle pickups and deliveries to customer homes, but they also perform additional services at their homes, and that's why they call it white glove delivery. So the kind of services that their contractors will perform in people's homes will be installation, training, things of that nature. So if you're ordering a washing machine or a refrigerator, um, the delivery will take place, but they'll also have somebody install it in your home. They need a lot of technology to enable their business processes. They need to make sure that um, shipments are efficiently routed, which means that they have the maximum number of um, pickups and deliveries happening on a single truck for the minimum number of miles in the minimum amount of time. Um, right now we have around 36 people working on the project and they are spread across locations in Pune, Bangalore and in Minneapolis in the US. Um, one thing we've been working on recently is um, a mobile application running on um, iOS and Android. The mobile app lists down all the shipments that they are supposed to deliver at which addresses so the driver can log in in the morning, check all the sequentially, he can check uh, where he needs to deliver, go there and deliver it. He can scan the items. It will list down all the items and all their details. They'll be able to use their phone to scan items, to mark barcodes and scan things to say that they've been delivered, picked up. They'll be able to use the camera to take pictures if there's any damage, any problem with the pieces. And they can capture customer signatures that things have been delivered. So currently they handle about um, 5 million shipments a year and they're looking to grow that exponentially over the next 12 to 24 months. At Spider Logic, we use the Agile methodology. We've chosen the Scrum approach. Uh, Scrum allows us to respond quickly to customer requirements. So at the end of each iteration, we could have a review and if the customer chooses, we could take a different path. So this is a typical Scrum board uh, practice that we follow. So this lists down all the tasks that we are going to be working on in this particular sprint of two weeks. So we have a period of two weeks where we commit to the customer that we are going to be delivering these tasks to them. And this shows the real-time progress of how a team is performing on this task. So this is less wasteful. It borrows from the manufacturing industry's uh, lean methodologies. That's been working for us. I'm working for an insurance client and that too which is in a very niche space. Uh, they cater to religious institutions and allied products really. A legacy replacement uh, of their policy administration system. So we're trying to come up with uh, 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 a new policy administration system um, that they'd, they'd start using. If you look at it, it's just an engine which takes in a policy uh, for a customer through, through a life cycle starting with quoting the premium for a customer um, right, up to uh, right up to issuing or cancelling or whether it expires, a customer can renew it, etc. So Spiral Logic has essentially really been involved uh, from the onset of this project. Um, we are the implementation partners uh, for the insurance client. Recruitment at Spiral Logic is close to being sacred. We go through a very stringent process of selection which involves hands-on exercises, homework and multiple technical rounds of interview before one single person is given a thumbs up. Special attention is given to see if a person would fit and enhance our culture. We like to be very open about our good, bad and the ugly and realize that this may not be a place for everybody. And believe us when we tell you it's not an easy job. We go through hundreds of resumes and scores of interviews before we can reach that one potential spider. I think ours is the toughest job here. Uh, I've been associated with a great bunch of folks for over eight years where we did some really outstanding work, uh, built great relationships. I then joined Target subsequently for around six years. I missed being part of uh, some good friends where I built some great relationships. So I had to come back. Uh, it's day two today and I'm really, really thrilled to be back home. Once we have attracted the right talent, it is up to our environment to retain it because it is really up to the people to build it. Spiders really bring a lot of life to this place. We have an open office setup 
and it helps us gel together. We love to work hard and play even harder. I think the differentiator is the confidence that we have in each other. Uh, what does Spider Logic mean to me? A company with heart. It's like home. Awesome. Flexible. Family. Freedom. Rocks. My cocoon. Second home. Optimism. Gladiators. Vibrant community. Uh, great place. Welcoming. Cooperation among the colleagues. I achieved my dream. Work-life balance. Fun. It's a lot of fun. It has great people. It's a fun place to work. You said that. But it's still a fun place to work. <laughs> and it also helps that our highly participative, higher management get into the swing of things. Jokes apart, uh, this vibrancy is definite morale boosting and an employee engagement factor. As Henry Ford said, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is a progress, and working together is success. Spider logic is open for business. Hi, um, you're a privileged presence of India. Cut, cut. Yeah? Sorry. No. Uh, what am I saying? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, 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 fine. I'm completely, completely off. Um, I got stuck. Yeah? So I'm sorry. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> sorry. Cut again. Spider Logic is open for business.